So what are you? You take any card you want. Yeah, sorry buddy. It's okay if I see it. Because what you're going to do is put your name really big across it. Yeah. So the reason she's signing it is so can't be double. Now honestly, have you ever signed a card before? This is the only card I get in the world to think about. What we're going to do is I'm going to take Grace's card, the Ace of Hearts, and we're going to fold it up. And Grace, can you just hold it like this? So there's no way I can touch it. I'm going to put the cards in a little mix-up. You guys know what this is called? It's called showing off. Okay? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the next card. So, this card, right? Like I guess we already have the initial about it. It's a three of hearts, okay? I'm going to fold that one up. Put it in my mouth. So you just hold yours in your hand, okay? And watch the card. Watch the card. Oh. <laughs> it work. Yeah, it's certainly not. Here's the crazy part. Look. Open your hand. <laughs> you haven't let go of this card, right? There's no way. Yeah. Hopefully. You can see this. <laughs> With the signature on it. Okay? Now that was just a little warm up to show you guys what I can do. They say. This is the money card. This is the card you guys have to follow. This is just a distractor card, okay? And since you're in the middle, you're gonna help me. You're just gonna use your, just gonna use your hand to on the table. So this is the card you guys have to pay attention to. And what was your name? Ryan. So if I go like this, just to start off, see how close you guys are paying attention. Where should the queen go? So that's what I want you guys to think. Actually here, you have the nine. All I did, I just pushed it when you, when you looked at me. But now I'm gonna make it a little harder and bring in another nine. So the first thing you have to do is pay attention to the queen. It's right there. Now from this moment, don't take your eyes off the queen. Because the thing with this game is, it doesn't matter where you bet, so you can't follow it. You probably thought it was there, right? But that might have been a little too fast. So watch, I'll make it a little easier. I'm gonna give you a nine. And watch the queen. Now you only have two cards to follow, right? But see, when you blink, it switches, okay? But that's it. <laughs> Now guys, the reason you can't follow it is because you have two eyes and three cards. You can't look both sides at once. It's just simple. It's logic. So look, if I take the money cards, I'm going to put it in my pocket. Okay? So now look, I have nine of spades and nine of spades. If I go like this, where should the queen be? Take, take guesses. See, but when you look at my pocket, that's when I do switch it out. And the nine goes to my pocket. Right? <laughs> But now watch this carefully. Watch the queen. Now we only have three cards. Now if I give him the queen, where's the queen? You'd bet there. Remember I said you can't win? You see the queen actually goes back to my pocket. Now honestly that was all sleight of hand. Just the hand's quicker than the eye. What I'm gonna do now is just observation. You see what's on top, you see what's on bottom. Right? What, just take guesses. What card should be in his hand? The queen. Should be in the queen. It is. So there we go. See, now people start to catch on we go too long. So right there I would have lost money. But of course I have to get it back. So watch the queen. We'll do this, I'll give you a nine. So I'd say bet where the nine is. You'd bet it's there, but see I'd win my money back. And the same thing with this nine, if I don't want you to win, you can't win. The moral of the story <laughs> is don't bet against the magician. You should lose. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys, this is the card you guys have to follow. Anyone know what that card is? Yes. Very good. And this one is? No. King of Clubs. Two. This is King of Clubs. Oh, no, good question. Nine. This nine. is this is to make it confusing. So you have two cards to follow, right? Watch. So no, it's not a King of Clubs. How do I You want me to get a King of Clubs? They're both I don't know why there's two. I should get rid of that. Yeah, that's weird. Rid of it. So we'll do this. Ah, that's keep me on my toes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Alright, so now we have the King of Clubs. And you, now you see they, they look similar. Those are actually similar, so that might have been confusing. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn your card over. Now tell me where his card ends up on top or bottom. At first I do nothing sneaky. It's not top or bottom. Top. Oh. Now squeeze the clubs really tight so there's no way I can get to it. And watch. Because if I switch it, I switch it back. You think it's on top or bottom? The clubs? The clubs are on the bottom. Yeah. Are on the top. What, what if I switch it somehow? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Can I do one more? This one's a little different than mine. It's kind of like, like my reading it. It's so weird. It might work, it might work. Alright, so I have this. It's like a little prediction. We're gonna get back to that at the end, okay? A prediction right now, man. So, I guess I'll do it with you. I just gotta see how you think first, like see how your mind works. So you gotta use your imagination. Imagine you walk into the biggest Costco in the world. That is what? The biggest Costco. Walmart, the big store. They sell everything. So you can use your imagination. So you walk it down into like aisle 17, you go to the middle, you look on the shelf, what do you see on the shelf? Legos. Legos? Yeah. Okay. See, now, when you thought Legos, did you like see the colors and the blocks? Like, you saw it. So you're going to tell me the script of mine. So now I'm going to try to influence you. I'm going to write down what I'm going to try to influence you. So yeah, I think what are you doing? Some magic over here? You're trying to read his mind. So I just told him, I asked, I sat, I asked how he thought. So I told him to walk to like Walmart and what do you see? He said he saw Legos. So now I know how he thinks. I'm going to try to influence him. I'm going to write down what I'm going to try to influence him. Uh, okay. And this is my prediction. Now look, I'm just gonna leave it behind you. Obviously, if I go near it, we'll see. So I have four fingers. Point to two of them. Those two? Now here's your imagination again. Imagine I gave you a pair of scissors. Which finger would you want to cut off? A ring finger. So for some reason, you got life in a ring finger. You chose the ring finger. Did you feel influenced? Because I influenced you. Because look, he picked the ring finger. It says... It says he was just ring finger. But that was just simple influence. Right? I just made you choose it. So here's where it gets crazy. Look. So you can hold this the whole time. I had you walk into a Walmart and, and look at anything you wanted. You said Lego. No, I'm not gonna say Lego. That's exactly what I said. That you would read. But she was holding the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, you know. Cheers, I'll drink to that. There you go, man. Uh, you want to see one? What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Let's <laughs> <laughs> right, see what we got here. Let's see if we got any jokers. Uh, I'll try. What's your name? Spencer. Spencer, I'm John. Alright. See all the cards are different. Spencer, what I want you to do is just touch the top of the card. Take it. Don't show me. Show the camera. I need to remember it. Okay, just drop it in. So there's no way I know where it is. And I'll even get a little bit of a shuffle. Now what I'm going to do is try to get your card to the top. It doesn't work. Do you have any card? I didn't see the card. Okay, okay. Hopefully... We got it on video. We saw the card. King of Hearts? Nope. Was it close? Was it at least red? Yeah. Alright, so this, this is good. I'm going to show you guys what happens when magicians screw up and keep them from screwing up. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ruin the card. I'm going to rip it. So every time I mess up, I rip a card. I, I don't mess up that much. So if you figure how lots of these pieces, we're going to get back to the King of Hearts in a second. And what was your card? Just tell me. Alright, look at this. Alright, Seven of Hearts. Now what's in your club? So I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do something crazy. Hold the pieces straight out. Watch the card. I give a little shake. You see that the card I ripped up now goes here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so now, that's what it was. Seven hearts, right? No, <laughs> I wish Quinn would work like that. Hold on. You squeeze the pieces really tight. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's your pieces piece coming together, mending together. Hold your hand like this. Hold your hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somehow, the pieces come back together. Just touch the card. I don't want to. No one sees it. It's a random card. Okay? Remember, he's taking the card. Now, what I'm trying to do is say you pick, that was the 10 of clubs, you'll pick the 10 of 
face. It's not like soulmate cards. It's like a connection. That's what we're trying to do. Alright, I'm gonna get some cards. We're not gonna look at
And watch the initials. Try to get a little shake. Right? Uh, it should look like Mitch's initials come here. Yeah. Come on the back of my card. Right. So that means my initials should now be. Pick up your hand. Should be on the back of your card, right? But I want to take this stuff further. <laughs> it's confusing, right? But watch this. Look. Now the initials change spots. Can you hold out your hand. Because I'm going to take both cards. Put your hand on top and squish them together. And just wait a second. Lift up your hand. The card should now be together. Pick it up. the normal card. Together. Show the camera. What? <laughs> So now you can keep that little souvenir okay. for me. So now, Gary, can you hold this to the end? Okay. Make sure I don't touch it until I ask at the end if I come here and slap my hand or something. Got it. Can you hold the beer for a second? What I need you to do, I don't want to see this guy. I don't want you to take any card you want. Can you put your name on the front of it? Really big so we can see it. I'll take the shark. Right. I always lose them. So you got one last look at it, right? Now the reason I had you sign it is so they can't be doubled. Because you never signed a card before, right? So it's the only card I get in the world to think about it. So, I'm going to shuffle it. So look, I want to show you what's not on top. If you wait a second, it looks like it comes to the top, right? Now, Katie, the way it works is it's like ambitious. It wants to be close to you because you signed it. So look at your card. Can you pick up half the deck? Pick up half? Yeah. Put your card here. Can you grab the deck like this? With that hand. Push your card in. And you snap. Oh, just snap? Now look at your hands. Turn over the top card. Katie, your card, right? Do me a favor, push it all the way in. Watch it. Does it jump for now? You guys can see it jump. I'm going to let you guys see it jump. I like you guys. I don't usually show people, but watch this. Look, they call us the gambler's crib. Because now we see Katie's card somewhere in the middle. Right? So watch the top card. Ready? One, two, three. And the Katie's card, right? Now, you signed the four hearts. So you did the oldest? If this was four hearts or another deck, it's kind of like I'm psychic and I knew what you would pick. Or I just got lucky, right? How crazy would it be if the card he's been holding the whole time is actually... <laughs> I guess you check it out. Is there a camera? Yeah, I know it's my handwriting. Just the thing, you guys don't understand is, what I understand is that the whole time you guys have been sitting here, I'm just showing you, there's a little bit of money around. Check it out. Make sure nothing inside of it. I'm like, your car, it's like all those little money around. But look, can you grab this tail? Both of your hands are free. Hold them out like this. Now look, we'll call this mommy and daddy, okay? So if I take daddy, I squeeze daddy tight. Katie, you can squeeze mommy tight. And now look, if I just wiggle my thumb, my bunny looks like it turns invisible. And it should. Somehow, it travel from me to you. Mommy and daddy. Now, you know your hand? The bunnies were on you. We're to try something. Now, we're all adults here. We don't have anything like mommy and daddy but no. <laughs> Actually, no, you can put magic in the bird. 